Hey guys, welcome back to Deus Ex. Uh, we were, I think, on our way to the apartment as well as uh, some other bullshit. So we have a couple people in this street here. So, I mean... They don't look particularly perceptive, so we'll just go. I see anyone, especially in Og, not taking any chances. Nice. These are very nice people, whatever. Let's just fucking go across. We got cloaking and whatever. Oh shit. Uh. Just run away. Apparently I had less energy than I expected. Uh, I need another bio cell, I think. Don't worry, I won't be seen. There are a lot of cops here. Actually, there is too many cops. What the fuck am I gonna do? I think stealth is over, guys. I have no quarrel with you. Well, sort of I do. So is the game kind of just all right with me, just kind of running past everybody and uh... Yeah, they just, they lost me. So that's uh, one place, but there's also a crazy cat lady who claimed that the killer was in the apartment. My Interpol friend. It's dangerous for you to be out in the street tonight. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Turns out we uh, oh, got it wrong before. There have been two more killings. Both of them ox. Both harvested, just like Angela. It's the same person. So it was never the husband, Johnny Gunn. I'm not sure where all this is going, but... I've been looking at old case notes, and it's uncanny. Marek Svobodka, the old harvester, is supposed to be dead. Yet this killer seems to... Little habits that were never made public. I even called the cemetery just to make sure Svobodka's still dead. And? He's dead. That doesn't explain what you're doing here. It's still my case, isn't it? And it's still open. I was hoping that maybe Daria suddenly remembered something. And what about you? You know very well that your Interpol ID doesn't mean shit tonight. Hell, I should be arresting you right now. Dahlia called me. She said she was in trouble. She said he was here. Then she got cut off. Is she in there? I wouldn't know. I knocked and no one answered. I've been... worried about her. So... she called you, huh? You know how she feels about cops. Right. Look, you're not supposed to be outside tonight. I'll take a look around the building. You? See if you can find a way inside. Hopefully we're not too late. Just try not to get caught, eh? I won't. There was like tons of people downstairs. Oh, it's level one hacking, so easy. Uh... Yeah, we'll just go down here. Anomaly detected. Initiated. What's the point of that thing? Oh, there's a there's actually a thing right there. Whoopsies. All right. Oh no. A murder. I right, need to examine the bear rug. There's a bear rug in her apartment. Good. Good. That's that's good advice. Okay. Find clues. Let's look at her computer. Some 
guy who's scared. I don't know. I've been. I, I've already ransacked her her apartment though. Her mystery diary. Oh fuck. That's incredibly creepy. What happens if uh, pushing the button does nothing? I guess it's like a voice dictation thing. Hello, whispers. Hi, he's coming. Here he comes. Oh, I think we have a code for something. I don't know if it's a code. This fire extinguisher is awfully suspicious. Trying not to get caught, they say. Looks like it's a the retarded hair clip. Honestly, I I know <laughs> No, not the fucking flat screen TV. Damn it, those monsters. How many more keys do I need? Follow the trail? Oh, dude, I got a proxy point. I think I was gonna sync that into... I was gonna sync that into remote hacking, wasn't it? I don't know, it's been, it's been a couple days since I played it. No, no, we need to examine the textbook. Managing psychological disorders. There's a blood stain here. To follow the blood. Oh, hey, it goes into the... Sec. Goes over here. The bloody number. Yeah, that fucking number. I, mean, I could just follow the blood trail, but there's a couple more things like this broken frame of glasses. That awfully suspicious looking other stuff. I don't know. Oh, look, this suspicious uh, fucking ebook. Okay, so. She had she had enough time to call me and tell him he tell me she was coming. All right. So she had the vent. Oh, there's she's down here somewhere. Oh, hey, it's the exact same place. Someone find me? No. They're looking for me, though. Oh, torn cloth. Oh. Uh, it's going straight to the sewers. So, you know what? Spooky spiders took her. The only logical conclusion. Also, she had a fuck ton of blood. I just want to mention that. Like, that is a ridiculous amount of blood. Alright, we need to be ready with our stun gun. We need to non lethally take down the perpetrator who's bleeding. Fucking spiders. Oh my goodness, how could this person still be alive if they're bleeding this much? Before he comes back. Before who comes back? The man who killed Angela Gunn? Yes. He knows you're after him. He wanted you to come. So where is he? He's everywhere. Can you not feel his presence? Are you not scared? Why did he bring you here? What does he want? He's using me to get to you. He thinks that by removing your augmentations, he can make you whole again. Quickly, come closer. Help me to get out, and then deal with him. Please, I beg you. I'm suspicious. She seems a bit on the crazy side. Also, I don't know how she could have bleeded that much, so we're gonna question it. I need to know where he is first. How long ago did he leave here? Which way did he go? You've got to be joking. We don't have time for all these questions. If he knows I spoke to you, he will kill me. Please, my ankle. Come closer. You must help me escape. Yeah, I don't fucking trust that. I don't see what the hurry is. You're safe where you are for now. I need to deal with the killer first. A little late to back away now, isn't it? You would sidestep salvation so close to the gate? I don't think so. 
Admit it. All this time you ignored the facts because deep down you wanted to be saved. I came here to help you. You're the one who needs help. Don't you understand that? I can make you human again. I have to make you human again. It's not too late. You need not die, a machine. Oh, hey. Uh, well, you know. What the fuck? Uh, you did. I should be right on top of it. Okay, so now, now we're battling with fucking crazy bitch here. And I just, uh... <laughs> what? That actually worked? No, I wanna get over here. Okay. That, that actually worked. I thought. Oh, sorry, I'm just looking at this thing. You know, it, it was just it was just the way she was asking me to come over there. That's the thing that uh that's the thing that basically made me uh suspicious. Uh it's just it's more, just more gas grenades. Toxic gas. So uh, if you're particularly good at dealing with the toxic gas, that's that's a one issue you can deal with. Uh is this the fucking shit that code on literally everything. Anomaly detected. Trade access granted. Whatever, it's level one. What are you gonna do? This is definitely one of the more su suspicious things I've ever seen. All right, well, all the cameras are offline for some reason. Who knows why? Well, another mystery solved. It wasn't Johnny Gun. It was uh, Daria the entire time. You know, never trust anyone who's like a creepy cat lady. It's just like, that's the rules of life. I mean, this is all pretty elaborate. I have to, I have to, I have to actually commend her for that. The, the the amount that this is elaborate, but this was like a really lame fight because I just kind of hid for a second, then just waited for her, and then I just punched her and out. Like the fuck? Like I didn't even need augments for that. I'm gonna say it again. Non-lethal is super easy. Like, look at I'm I'm actually just looking at this entire fucking place, and like there could have been a fight here. Like, there could have been an awesome fight. They had so many things around here to help me d to kind of, like, deal with this. But she got punched out. Like, a, like fuck. You can't even fault me for that. Like, it's just the easiest thing. I just, I actually didn't think it would work, to be honest. It all makes sense now. Lingering by the crime scene, creeping around Daria's apartment. I should have seen it sooner. This isn't what you think, Montag. You killed her because she figured out who you really are. Daria's unconscious. She'll be fine. Your real problem is going to be figuring out what to do with her when she wakes up. I made the mistake of letting you in on this case. Of giving you access to her. No more lies. Are you going to confess to what you are or not? Daria lured me here. She wanted to save my soul by removing my augmentations. Just like she saved Angela Gunn and God knows how many others. Daria Mishka? All this time pretending to be a dead serial killer? Duh, bullshit! I know it's not easy to believe. But it does start to explain some things. Daria didn't just happen to see Angela's murder. She was there because she killed her. And she wanted me to get involved because she was already targeting her next AUG. Daria wanted you involved because she didn't like cops. And because she was scared. Apparently she had every reason to be.
There's an email on Daria's computer from a former Tai Young medical employee named Dr. Sipra. A few years ago, he treated her for some kind of social disorder using experimental neural therapy. What does that have to do with the killings? The email sounded desperate. Look, I don't have all the details yet, but it suddenly seems clear to me that someone needs to talk to this guy. So that was going to be your next move here? Tracking down this uh, experimental pharmacist? You need to believe me. I'm as eager to find out what the hell just happened as you are. I don't know what scares me more. That it's been you all along, or that this all leads to some big medical conglomerate. All I know for sure is Daria wasn't what she appeared to be. The answers we're both looking for are still out there. You're lucky she's still breathing. Otherwise, this might have gotten very ugly between us. Like I told you, I'm not the killer here. Right. If what you're saying is true, and this does all lead back to Tai Young. Then you're gonna have your hands full. Assuming you want to keep digging into this. I don't. But... I think I have no choice. This damn case has been like dead skin. I can't stop scratching. I suppose I have you to thank for that. Well, I guess it's the good thing about not killing her. I mean, how did he know that I didn't kill her? And why did he follow me here? Well, I love a happy ending. Uh, have a look at these. Actually, there's a we have a side quest right there. And we have some alarm system over here. We're gonna go this way though, because we have to go search over there. Might as well. We're just in the area. So, actually, this is like a really easy way of just like fucking around town. I didn't actually think about this. You avoid all the cops that way. Alright, attack this guy. Because I had to run through them when I started this whole thing, but now I'm starting to realize it's not necessarily Anomaly the best detected. idea. Trace program initiated. It's fine, we got it. Access there granted. we go. Hopefully there's no stinky poo gas here. Well, there is like... that bullshit. EMP does nothing to me anymore, so whatever. Why are we searching here? Prague is turning into a town of records. The people behind them have all gone. Yeah. Okay. You were I. You were just fucking standing in a chair, but okay. I reckon. Welcome to the underground. I owe you an apology for hacking your info link. Yeah, it's a sore point after what happened a couple of years ago. Maybe you saw the news. Please understand. It was the biggest risk I could take. All Samizat's communications are bugged. The police raided the offices last night, cleared us out. We were broadcasting until they pulled the plug. Radios, flyers, mail bursts, the, the makeshift media van. Getting the message out to our subscribers if they needed a refuge. As you can see, it went a little wider than we anticipated. So are you running a resistance cell here or a campaign room? Why not both? Now Sami's dad has a captive voter base we could run for the Senate. It's organized resistance then. Peaceful resistance. We're working together to get people under the cordon and out of Prague. It's a happy accident of a police state. Well, I say happy when everyone's repressed, they can see past their prejudices. Or they shift the blame. It's gonna take a long time for those prejudices to heal. As long as certain people can profit from keeping the wounds fresh. But you knew that already. What happened to Kay? is me now, according to the Samizdat Manifesto. It's all very third-wave socialist with a dash of martyr complex. Good to know. But I mean, what physically happened to him? Right. His name is Yarek. Yarek Drobny. He's being held by the police along with Bones. 
no contact, no bail, no rights, plausible deniability. He must have known the risks. Well, he was open to the existence of risks. When you showed up, it should have been a wake-up call, but you were reasonable. The state isn't reasonable. This isn't what I call laying low. Aren't you afraid the police will find you again, finish what they started? They already got the cave. Bones, the backup servers, even the shitty coffee machine. Enough for them to call it a win, and get back to indiscriminate brutality on the streets. Where were you when this happened? Right here. Running our little home away from home. Our sources tipped us off about the martial law. Either we could write about it and throw our hands up. Boy, I sure hope this massive rights violation doesn't end up being too awful this time. Or we could enact a readiness plan and really do something. Yeah, when we first met, I called you pamphleteers. I guess I should apologize. Oh no, we were pamphleteers. Now we're pamphleteers, jury rigging, an underground railroad. I'm pretty sure you didn't call me to put up posters. What's the deal? We've made a plan. We're getting people out of the city, starting first thing tomorrow. I want Yarek and Bones to go with them, but first we need to bust them out of jail. Tonight. And you think I'm the kind of guy who breaks into police stations? Are you telling me you're not? I told the M. Fine, I'll get them out. You're being held in the temporary police station downtown? Yes. By the Monument Metro. Once you're clear, take them across the plaza to the United Cleaners. We've cached everything they need for a long road trip along the old NATO decommissioning zone. That's your escape route? Puts getting them past the state police into perspective. It works on paper. Ah, uh, and uh, give them these new identity documents, a lot of new identities. We found a very good forger. We're keeping her from a bright future in a Pikus newsroom. I recognize you. Too many people. I rank a bower. Thought we activated your permit. You did. Whatever you did, it was enough to fool them. You kept us out of Golem. We will never forget that. But now you're hiding again. Martial law has changed everything. They say it is to keep us off the streets, but it is worse than that. They go into our homes, accuse us of being people we are not. Permits do not matter anymore. How did you know to come here? Helena heard a message on the radio. It was warning people saying the city is not safe anymore. She saw the police go into someone's home. The man. He was showing them his permit, but the officer. He did not even look at it. He just. Helena could see that the warnings were true. That people like Irenka must run away. So we start to go underground. We start to find others. When society wants to make things hard for someone, it eventually finds a way. I'm sorry it came to this, Irenka. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have made it this far. We wouldn't have met all these people. Everyone is working together. Together we will find a way out of here. I hope so. Do you need something? I suppose you responded. I am willing to volunteer on the Samistat mailing list too. Milana. You didn't take my advice about giving up on forgery. I know, I know. But trouble is, I've got a talent for it. And it's a real growth market. As soon as you got me out of that thing with Dragomir, I had like 20 emails from Samizdat. Do you have any idea how difficult it is for art school graduates to find a specialist subject these days? The permits aren't enough for police anymore. Forged or real. In Prague, maybe. But, it turns out I'm multilingual when it comes to falsifying border passes. Lucky, right? Never works, I'd say lucky. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, Super Commando Man. Oh, don't mention it, Milena. If there was an easier option, you think we wouldn't take it? I was less stressed out when I was working at gunpoint. 
We may not agree on your methods, but I'll let you get back to your work. Coming from you, that is like the gold star seal of approval. Wow, all my old friends. I wonder what happened to that guy that I fucked over. First I took his money, and then I... I recognize you. Yeah, I recognize you too. Is there anyone else here? Yeah, that's just civilian. Not important enough to have a name. Declaration of Augmentation. Tigard Registry. Alright. I guess let's go back home then. Uh... Wherever home is. Yours is a good way of dealing with this though. I like this. I just have to go through the sewers I guess. Oh shit, what the fuck's that? I apparently made a wrong turn somewhere. Oh yeah, it's like got like a uh, yeah, it's it is gas actually. So there we go. And once again, by playing non-lethal, the game became easier. The guy didn't confront me to try and kill me, things like that. Like I said, that's my biggest problem with this game. Non-lethal and stealth is just incredibly easy, and it's like the best way of doing everything. Like, if you don't want to have a very challenging run. If you want to have a challenging run, just kill everything. Because it's not like I'm missing, like, you know, like, like, here, I'm going to back that up, that claim. Because, I mean, how many more combat augs do you think would, like, make it everything easier? It's like, maybe, the Typhoon is like, meh. That's like basically like a rocket launcher kind of a thing, dealy. You just go in the middle of them and you just Typhoon them. I mean, you got this thing, the Titan, it's like, uh, it's a uh, negate incoming damage for a short time. Uh, you know, they got like, uh, energy system, makes it medium, then makes it low. It's basically like you constantly have like a, I guess, invulnerability shield on you. It's just like whatever. But then you gotta spend a lot of time killing literally everybody rather than just going past them and just like, you know, dealing with them one by one. Alright. Let's, uh, let's have a talk with, uh, Seraph. Adam, good. We need to talk, son. What's going on, Seraph? Why the secure vid call number? I looked into facility 451. It was a processing clinic, one of dozens set up after the incident to help augmented people recover. It was supposed to be places to heal, but they were run more like prison camps. And? And I don't think you got your new augs there. You said rescue teams dumped you in that clinic shortly after Panchea collapsed, but your name doesn't appear on its entry logs. And it doesn't appear on any survivor recovery lists, either. They said I was a John Doe. Nobody knew who I was. It wouldn't have been hard to find out. Your augmentations have serial numbers. Or at least the ones I had installed into Adam Jensen did. Are you suggesting all my augs are new? Even the ones you gave me? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm telling you all the augs we ever installed had registry codes. And they're not hard to trace. I know my augs, Seraph. It took two years for my body to get used to them, to unlock all their potential. Two years? Really, Adam? One of which you don't remember because you were allegedly in a coma in Alaska. Look, son, all I'm saying is it wouldn't have been hard to identify you. But for some reason, that never happened. Why are you so sure I didn't get these hogs in Alaska? Orloff was there. I spoke with him. You said he was using an alias, McFadden. I looked into it. Casper McFadden didn't exist until the day you regained consciousness, which was one month before you escaped the facility. Okay, so where was Orlov? Not in Alaska. He was with Tai Young Medical for a while, and in the spring of 2028, his name pops up once or twice in the Baltic region. Then he dropped off the grid, and McFadden shows up. So what does that prove? Orlov is McFadden, and McFadden is Orlov. None of it connects him to me. Except for the OGS, which Orloff designed and nobody else knows how to install, let alone make compatible with a competing system. What are you trying to tell me, Seraph? <sighs> I'm sorry, Adam. There's not much more I can say. There's some conclusions you have to make for yourself. All I know is the deeper I dig, the more questions I have. 
Orlov might have had answers, but as soon as you found out he was in Prague, that he'd been visiting Prague periodically ever since you started working with TF-29's division there, somebody killed him. You tell me what it all means. I can't. Not yet. Well, if you ever do find out, give me a call. Until then, take care of yourself, Adam. Be careful. Thanks for the help, Seraph. Denek. Oh, look, a giant fucking watch. What the hell? I had ghosts from that? How was it? How did I get ghosts from that? Alright. Watch TV. And now for a close look at events making headlines around the world. The impact of the AUG incident is still being felt. Two years. Okay. They're not really telling me anything new. Alright, guys, I think we're gonna peace out, so thanks for watching, everyone, and take care. Goodbye.